welcome back guys uh, we want to talk about how to count viable cells and actually in this video I'm going to tell you the three processes that people usually use to count viable cells now uh, the first process here is uh, the spread plate method and in spread plate method what we usually do we take uh, the agar plate which is the solid medium we need to have a solid surface and to have a solid surface the best way to have it is to uh, make the solid media using agar and onto this solid surface we just pour our uh, media and just spread it all over the plate with a spreader and once we've done that we incubate it for a particular duration of time and temperature usually for the for general bacteria we use it 37 degrees Celsius temperature for 24 hours and then we see the colonies and we can count the colonies either using a visual uh, marking system or using a colony counter machine and then we can tell the amount of bacteria that is present now another method is the pour plate method and this method is slightly different from the spread plate because the spread plate is only done when the media is getting solidified but for the pour plate method what we need to do we need to take a, a plate and we add both these things we mix actually our media with the inoculum now here it says the inoculum we just put it first then we put our media but remember the media is obviously having uh, agar so it should be solidified at a particular uh, cold temperature but we won't allow this media to be solidified before the media gets solidified we add the media with the inoculum onto the agar plate we mix it well and then we cover the lead and we allow this to grow for for uh, again for the particular time duration at a particular temperature and then we can see colonies but the difference between these two methods is that in the spread plate method as we are spreading the culture onto the top of the media we can see the colonies only in the surface area but on the other hand for the pour plate method we can see two different variety of colonies one in the surface uh, which are more aerophilic another one in the sur sur another one is a subsurface which is slightly embedded onto the media due to this pouring effect right and people may thought that these are the anaerobic bacteria but I'm gonna tell you that these are not anaerobic because you can't culture anaerobic bacteria like this because this bacteria might uh, not love oxygen very much so they grow at lower oxygen content condition in the subsurface regions so these are the two major ways and another major way to count this viable cell is uh, is this a serial dilution method and this is sound to be very foolproof method to know the number of colonies that are present in your original culture now for that method what we use we use uh, original inoculum uh, we, we use uh, uh, water uh, which is sterile obviously and uh, so not actually water or broth whatever you take and we add uh, the number of inoculum in it so original inoculum for example 1 ml of original inoculum is added to the 9 ml of broth nutrient broth and now it becomes 10 so the culture is here the ratio of 1 is to 10 the culture is to uh, in a uh, culture is to the media is 1 is to 10 then we take 1 ml from this culture and we put it onto another media another 9 ml nutrient media and this way we are transferring 1 ml from each and as we are doing that we are actually diluting our actual inoculum or original inoculum sample for example in the previous time we get 1 is to 10 then once we transfer 1 ml from this to the next level it becomes 1 is to 100 then from there to another so 1 is to 1000 and so on it keeps going like that so once we're doing this we can take uh, the mixture from those uh, tubes and we can spread it uh, onto the uh, onto plates we can spread it or pour it usually pour plate method is applied there uh, to get the number of colonies now you can see once the inoculum is very much dense we get a huge number of colonies so we can't actually count them visually because they are kind of forming a smear like smear like structure or lawn like structure but after that once we are making it more diluted like like one is to ten thousand or one lakh we are going to see the colonies we can uh, count the colonies on our own and once we count the colonies we can go back from this dilution factor we can calculate uh, the percentage uh, or the amount of total bacteria present in our original inoculum sample now uh, all of these three methods that you've talked about spread plate method uh, poor plate method as well as this serial dilution method we use all this method in different cases and I have already discussed about these three different methods in three different separate videos so if you want to know uh, details you can go back to those videos and can watch them so that's it guys thank you